Today we'll cover two climate stories ranging from temperatures to tornadoes. Starting first with tornadoes, Brett, a article from National Geographic about tornadoes and are they getting worse and sort of what we know from a research perspective uh, on the impacts of climate change on the frequency and intensity of tornadoes. Yeah, there's been a lot of studies on this, uh, the relationship between climate change and tornadoes, and a lot of it's inconclusive. Uh, we've seen more observed tornadoes in the past 50 years or so, but a lot of that's due to the uh, Doppler radar, uh, storm chasers pretty much getting out everywhere, better video technology and whatnot. Uh, one, one thing they did notice though, there's no observed change in the number of major tornadoes in the terms of frequency what they've seen. So uh, interesting study there. Now one other thing I want to mention also is climate change adds heat to the atmosphere. Heat provides energy. So that's one thing you'd think, oh, okay. we're going to see stronger tornadoes. However, with added heat, we're seeing weaker jet streams because the Arctic's warming very rapidly. So the temperature difference between the north and the south is less. The jet stream's weaker, so you have less wind shear which is critical for the formation of tornadoes. Yeah, yeah so certainly a, a complex picture here in terms of the climate change impacts on tornadoes. One thing that has been seen, though, in the research is a shift in the a sort of traditional tornado alley from the Great Plains right. in the last couple of decades more to the southeast United States. Yes, uh, and a lot of that, I think, is due to the Gulf of Mexico really warming up, adding a lot of heat energy to the atmosphere and seeing some of those real strong tornadoes mm -hmm. occurring out of normal season, late winter, early spring. Yeah, and that's a concern with the manufactured yeah. homes in the southeast. That means a more, a more vulnerable population with those homes not being as secure to the ground. Uh, the fatality rate has decreased, though, in tornadoes, which is good news over Absolutely. the last couple of decades with better technology. Our second story today from the New York Times focused on temperature swings in the extremes from cold to warm and then warm to cold. This study looking uh, at the years from 1961 to 2023 and seeing an increase in frequency of these temperature swings. Yeah by 60 percent. Uh, that's a dramatic increase there uh, for sure. And, and what we're talking about is, uh, you know, rapid warming. Uh, maybe one day is 70 degrees, the next day is 30 degrees. And that's never a good thing. You want normalcy for, for sure, especially when dealing with crops. Uh, crops do not like that type of thing, especially, let's say, w wine growing. Uh, when it gets really warm in the spring and then a sudden frost or freeze, that can be uh, very damaging to such, something like that. Also power infrastructure, uh, also very susceptible to big temperature swings as well as ecosystems. Yeah, the snow melting obviously and can refreeze under the ground as well yeah. during, a, d during winter and that can actually kill off uh, some of the crops that are underground. That prevents uh, animals from accessing food. Also, it seems like some mitigation here could be increased access to weather information, right? Yeah, exactly. That's one uh, increased access to cooling centers. Also, the power grid needs to be more resilient to something like that. Yeah, so certainly some more research in this area and some mitigation strategies in terms of temperature swings as well as the complex interaction of climate change on tornadoes. Well, thanks, Brett. And for more information about these stories and other climate information, you can find that at AccuWeather.com climate.